kind enough to tell our next story. I would love to. I'm excited about the story. Of course, everything's wedding related. You could call Nikki Boyer fearless. She first got her start in local television as a teenager, doing live cut-ins while singing and dancing for KPLR TV in St. Louis. After the cartoons would air, the screen would split, and the credits would roll, and then we would go live from our kids' club, and I was one of the hosts. And so from a very early age, I was getting all of this amazing TV experience. She spent several years at the TV station and won three Emmys for her work. At the same time, she was in a band pursuing a career in music. When her bandmates decided to head out to the West Coast, Nikki quit her job and decided to go for it. But at the last minute, the others backed out. I've quit my job, I've had my farewell party, so I packed up my tiny little white car and my cousin and I drove across the country and I found a couch to sleep on. Right away, she hired an agent and tried her hand in acting, but her career would lead her right back to hosting. Please welcome back to our show, our friend Nikki Boyer. I'm Chris Harrison alongside Nikki Boyer. Today. Immediately I was getting commercial work, hosting work. I worked at MTV for a little while. I worked for Yahoo hosting a show called Daytime and No Time. I worked at TLC for 150 episodes of Perfect Proposal. Um, I worked at TV Guide Network hosting with John Henson. I did all the red carpet stuff for TV Guide. I did a little bit for E. I worked for Dick Clark Productions. Eventually her hosting work led to a recurring gig on the Wendy Williams show. Came up with my own total Totally original catchphrase. Oh, okay. Can let's, I try it let's out? Let's hear it. Go for it. Uh huh. Okay. How are you feeling? Really? They usually bring me on as a guest, like, hey, come on, talk pop culture, talk this. And they called me and they said, what are you doing this week? Wendy is out and you'll be hosting. And I was like, hosting what? What segment? And they said, no, the, hosting the show. And I was like, I'm sorry. I'm gonna be hosting the Wendy I was like, what? But when the pandemic hit back in 2020, she knew she had to shift focus. That would lead her to concentrate more on podcasting. Of course, she had already been a regular on the podcast, Straight Talk with Ross Matthews. I think the most active but role that I've had in this industry is being a producer and a creator um, of podcasting, storytelling. Um, and that's been really interesting for me because that's new. It's like a whole new facet of my career. In early 2020, she released her own podcast. She says it was the most fulfilling work she's done so far. Dying for Sex is a podcast that tells the heartfelt story of her best friend, Molly, who was dying from breast cancer. She's kind of my North Star. But when I get to talk about her, it's like, oh, I just sink into this space of immense gratitude, appreciation. While dealing with cancer, Molly does a complete 180 with her life. She leaves an unfulfilling marriage and sets out to live her best life before it's too late. She's changed my life completely, made me way more um, clear about what I'm doing with my time and what my purpose is. And she's also completely changed the trajectory of my career. I was actually getting out of the business when we started the podcast because I was done, Melanie. I was like, I am done with this stuff. I cannot keep on this grind. I got to figure something else out. The Dying for Sex podcast was close to Nikki's heart and chronicled Molly's cancer journey right up until the very end. More than 10 million people downloaded the podcast, and in 2021, Nikki was awarded Podcast of the Year. Molly and I won um, Podcast of the Year, which um, there's my little award. Look at my wait there. So it's called an Ambi Award. In addition to Dying for Sex and her work on Straight Talk with Ross Matthews, Nikki has two other podcasts, The Daily Smile and Call Me Curious. More recently, she started wearing yet another hat, entrepreneur. Right now I'm starting my own media company. Um, it's called Dying for Media and it's based on telling stories about real people with unreal stories. And there are so many people out there that have a story to tell that haven't been tapped into. Are you kind of fearless, do you think? Kind of. I didn't have fear of failing. Failing is part of this business. Um, so I, I had a lot of failures. I love it, so I'm never going to leave it. I've tried to leave it. It's never going away. I'm going to be creating and doing probably until I take my last breath, right? 